morning, everybody. Ma Terry here. My fabulous co-star, Miss Lucy, is out taking a, a walk. All right, I wanted to talk to you about Stealth Camp in San Diego, but also at the end of the videotape, I have a couple of short little videos. Uh, yesterday, I just couldn't think of anything to say. So, uh, you know, I'm showing my beads, you know, what I'm doing, processing, and also a talk, and maybe Miss Lucy's there too. I forget. But anyhow, Stealth Camp in San Diego. All right, so I've done it quite a few times. Um, why? Because sometimes I just want my privacy or uh, I'll sneak in on uh, Mr. Louie when I come home and, uh, you know, drive in late at night. But what I, all I do is, and I'm pretty familiar right here, my best uh, uh, idea is, because there's not a lot of Barnes & Noble anymore, is I Google Panera Breads, and then I find apartment buildings around Panera Breads. Why don't I do it with Starbucks? Because they put Starbucks anywhere, including the ghetto. So I find some nice little upscale uh, places uh, to uh, stealth camp at. Uh, a lot of these apartment complexes, they're not gate and closed like they are out in Palm Springs, Palm Desert. So it makes it pretty easy. Have I ever been busted? No. But even more exciting news for you, uh, Mr. Louie is taking me to uh, several places to where you don't have to even worry about stealth camping, that they welcome campers out here in San Diego. So that'll be uh, next week's video uh, that I'm working on, but we're going today. And you guys, you guys should thank me. Oh my gosh, the weather's uh, not pretty out today, uh, but we're just having uh, cloudy. It's cold. My fingers are cold, but I'm going to do it just for you guys. So there's a few places that I wanted to uh, videotape and get the uh, lowdown on it. So uh, yeah, I. Uh, so why would you want to come to San Diego? All right. So if you're in the Northwest, or anywhere and the weather is cold it's snowing big bear lake i know they got a lot of snow up there and you're just tired of digging yourself out well southern california is really a great place to be i know today it's only going to be a high of 60 but tonight it's going to be 49 degrees if you're looking for a little place uh, warmer and sunnier that would be beautiful Palm Springs, that desert out there. They have six or seven cities. So much fun and so many free things to do. I just did a video on College of the Desert Street Fair. Definitely, you can see a big difference in the lighting out there. I mean, you know, yeah, I've been in Palm Springs to where it rained a few times, but uh, I think it's one of the sunniest spots on the planet. And I know some people are saying, well, I'm in Florida right now. In Florida, it's pretty sunny out. I've done Florida. Uh, I lived in Florida. It rained for 36 days straight, sometimes two or three days of rain. And uh, on the 37th day, I left. <laughs> it's like uh, muggy and buggy down there, even though uh, I am planning to go down there uh, next, uh, like September, October probably closer to October when it's more of a winter. But, uh, you know, like out here in San Diego, there are so many free things to do. We're going to hit a free concert tomorrow, uh, free art museums. Of course, this is Bank of America Museums on Us weekend. So, uh, like I said, free, 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 lots of things to do, lots of entertainment, cheap eats. Uh, it's just an amazing culture. Uh, let me tell you a few things just off the uh, my head. Uh, I want to go to, uh, if you have the National Park Pass and I get it for free, Juan Cabrillo uh, National Park. Uh, it's basically right there on the ocean and they talk, they talk about uh, the uh, sailor, Juan uh, Cabrillo. So it's Cabrillo National Monument. Uh, let's see what else is free. Of course, all of Balboa Park. Uh, there are so many places to explore. Uh, it's the weekend. Places should be open. Uh, they have the cactus garden, the rose garden. Uh, they probably deadheaded the roses since we're in January, but it's still beautiful. And the cactuses are having babies now. Um, at Liberty Island, that is so nice to walk around with. Lots of art shows down there at Liberty Station. Liberty Station, not Liberty Island, Seaport Village. Uh, yeah, uh, one of the things I did this uh, week, oh my gosh, I'm trying to get a Metro Pass so I can ride the trolley for like 20 bucks a month. And uh, they're uh, down at the Metro, in Long Beach, all I had to do was walk in, show my registration for my van that I have a, a disabled plates, not a problem. Here, it's like, well, why don't you have a placard? And it's like, well, Mr. Louie has a placard. Why would I need a placard? And they're like, well, someone could drive your van and park in a handicapped spot. And it's like, someone could take the placard out of my van too and use it to park in a handicapped spot. 
their language and makes no uh, sense to me. So uh, anyhow, I got all the paperwork done. I got to mail that off and then we'll be exploring a lot of San Diego. Uh, like I said, I have a lot of things that um, I'm working on. Travel Grandma, she's uh, going to do something in Temecula. We're going to have a meetup and we're going to be camping out there. If you don't know what a Temecula is, and we rhyme it with Dracula, is Temecula. Uh, that is wine country in Southern California. It's beautiful. Uh, lots of shopping out there. They have a wonderful old town, which I love visiting. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So guys, we're going to be having a lot of fun lately. Um, I'm going to uh, just tell you stealth camping is not a problem down here if you're good. I do have a bust it video for next week. Uh, the person wasn't stealth camping properly and I will tell you what uh, she did wrong and uh, hopefully I can help her out. You know, uh, to me, it's a lot of fun. It really is. But uh, I've never been busted and uh, San Diego is easy. So if you want to come here for pleasant water, go for it. All right, I'm going to attach the videos I did yesterday. Like I said, I had nothing to talk about yesterday. My brain was empty. All right, hope you all have a nice weekend and I'll see you down the road. Bye. Right now, what I'm doing is sorting all the beads that I got from Quartzsite, Arizona. And the reason why I'm showing you this is so that you're jealous. No, not really. But this is shell heart beads. I think I, think I had to buy like 100 strands of beads and I think they came out to 75 cents a strand. If not, they were a dollar a strand or something like that. Look how beautiful that is. Think of all the earrings I can get. So yeah, beautiful beads. Well, hello there, Ma Terry here, along with our fabulous co-star, Miss Lucy. And I do not have a long chit chat today. No, I don't. Why? Uh, because I have a couple of doctor's appointments, so I'm going to go take care of business. All right, how is Miss Lucy doing? I'm going to get the uh, turmeric today and the coconut oil, and we'll see how she does with that. Uh, this is her little heating pad, and uh, the reason why I'm bringing it up is I use this in the van all the time. I uh, heat up my water, and now we know we can just go to uh, Love's Truck Stop with our cup and get free hot water, and uh, I can do that at Panera Bread. They have uh, water to make hot tea. Fill it up and just put it on her little hips, and she's really happy about that. Aren't you, Miss Lucy? Yes, she is. Oh, she's a, she's a really good kid. So, uh, nothing special today. I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing. Uh, I can't believe I got these. are going to make fabulous earrings. And this is a little thing for the tiny ones. I just put my beads in there, and it has a little screw-on thing. And then I just throw it in the bag and then I throw it in my pile that's called blue beads, right? Uh, that is my whole day of sorting.